I'm Anthony Mangeluzzo, and I'm the president of PCS. We were actually pro computer service back in uh, 2001. Um, but I should take it back a little further. In the year 2000, I was actually the PC Pro, right? Which the name itself doesn't even make sense, right? PC Pro, Professional Computer Pro Pro. Uh, but I got my start fixing uh, residential computers. Uh, my neighbor, uh, she did a lot of videography work for uh, Prudential Fox and Roach at the time. And uh, they had a bad experience with a local IT company. At the time, believe it or not, even in the early 2000s, they were charging $110 an hour. They knew I was good at computers. I went over there, fixed the computer in about 15 minutes. It was something really simple. Uh, her husband suggested that I make some business cards and uh, start a company. So I'm 20 years old, no clue what I'm doing. I go to the local Office Max, I make up some business cards. I set up a you know, company phone line, which is in a spare bedroom in my parents' house. And uh, luckily for me that the real estate market was booming then. Uh, my next door neighbor placed a business card in everyone's box at Prudential, which there was, was one of the bigger offices, 80 to 100 people, and I caught on like wildfire. And then from there, they referred me into real estate, title, mortgage, all the ancillary companies that, that worked with them. And um, by 2002, I want to say, I knew things were pretty serious, and um, I accidentally came up with the name the Pro Computer Service because when I registered my business with the state website, I didn't read. So I put the PC Pro still, and it's a congratulations, Pro Computer's available. So I had a change on my business cards. My first business lesson, make sure you read everything. So one of the reasons that I really was into technology and got into it, you know, being born in 1980, that was the uh, great video game boom. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and uh, my friends and myself like to play a lot of video games. Well, back then, and even still true to today, the next level of video games was the PC, it was computer games because they were more intricate, uh, the, the plots were deeper, but there came some challenges. Computer processing power back in the mid 90s as compared to today is night and day difference. So in order to play my favorite games, I had to learn essentially how to program a little bit. Uh, they made boot disks where you had to type in computer codes to make sure that every little piece of resource on that processor was focused solely on that game. Uh, so from there, just based out of a need and a want to play the latest and coolest games, I, I got really into computers, which ultimately led into me starting a bulletin board system, which most people probably don't know what exists, but think of old school AOL dial-up. I'm not talking internet, I'm talking dial-up AOL, but also in your local community where you could play online games and do things like that. So I ran that business for about two years from 15 to 17 until, until my parents uh, forced me to move to New Jersey. I had no say in the matter at that time. <laughs> 